Well, we know there is a ton of information and misinformation right now out and about on the coronavirus. Our Dr. Frank McGeorge is here with the Trust Index on a Facebook post making the rounds claiming it's dangerous to wear a mask. Yeah, Kim and Devin, you know, from the very beginning, along with other experts, I've said masks aren't perfect. They don't completely filter every breath you inhale or exhale. They shouldn't give people a sense of invincibility. They need to be worn properly for maximum effectiveness. And yes, they take getting used to. But can they be harmful, as several Facebook posts claim? Well, let's break down the details. Different recent Facebook posts have claimed that masks can cause carbon dioxide poisoning or even a lung infection. One recent Facebook post being shared by different people that viewers have asked me about claims that a 19-year-old healthy grocery store worker was sick for two weeks. According to the post, she had a chest x-ray that, quote, lit up and underwent a CT scan, MRI, and ultrasound, as well as a negative COVID test. She was told it was pleurisy, caused by wearing a mask for eight hours a day for five to six days a week and breathing her own bacteria and carbon dioxide. Starting with the carbon dioxide issue, masks have pores in them. That's what allows you to breathe through them. Gases like oxygen and carbon dioxide freely pass in and out, making any significant buildup of your exhaled carbon dioxide impossible. Now, as far as breathing your own bacteria, fortunately, we have mechanisms that clear out any bacteria that might make it into our respiratory tract, and breathing with a mask does not cause bacterial lung infections or pleurisy. Now, perhaps the simplest way to think of the question is to recall that many healthcare providers, particularly operating room staff, wear masks continuously for many hours, day after day, and have not had any harmful effects identified. So the bottom line, I am giving this a not true on the trust index. There are simply no medical facts that support any of these claims. It does take a little while to get used to the feeling of breathing with a mask on, but it is not harmful. Yeah. Well, talk about some of the downsides to wearing a mask. Well, you know, Kim, there are two potential legitimate downsides. First, fiddling with it, touching it, and touching your face repeatedly, that can contaminate your face. And of course, second, long-term use of especially tight-fitting N95 masks does cause skin irritation, and even worse, it can make acne bad. So make sure that you're washing your face regularly. Yeah. Back to you. Okay. Thanks, Dr. McGeorge.